position is there. It, it, it's, called, it's called Jesus. But this man had a they in his life. Let me tell you something about they. They, number one, if you're taking notes, they can help you for a little while. I want you to understand that they can help you. See, sin normally feels good. Am I right or wrong? And no hands go up. Oh, Anna say right. <laughs> sin normally feels good. Am I right or wrong? Okay. <laughs> it does. But it ends in a consequence normally and always that does not feel good. I want you to know that they can help you for a little while. There's no doubt about it. Sad and depressed. You pick up that bottle and you consume whatever you consume. It will take your mind off your problem for a moment. How many people agree? So they will carry you for a little while. And I suppose if you have a little while problem, Maybe you can let they carry you. But I assure you, we all will go through life. We'll all arrive at a place where we have a problem that's too big for they. And if all we have in our circle, if all we have around us is a few of they, we got a problem. But what I want you to understand about Christ what I want you to understand about Jesus, Jesus says, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. What is church about? What is this worship atmosphere about today to invite each of us to enter into a perpetual relationship with the God of all creation? Think about that for a moment. The God that has no beginning and no end. The God who's known you from eternity past to eternity future. The God that knows the hairs on your head. The, the God that gave you a certain fabric that is so unique in your fingertips. The God that put a certain fabric in your bloodstream that no one else has it. That God that says you're marvelously and wonderfully created. That God says, I never want to leave you. Well, what about death? I never want to leave you. I want you to know that neither height, neither depth, neither depth, neither life, nothing can separate you from this perpetual relationship with God Almighty. Who, who is the they in your life? The they is a loud crowd. I heard a great boxer by the name of Muhammad Ali. His name, former name was Cassius Clay. And I heard him in his maturity. I heard him after he won all the title bouts. After he's fought some of the stiffest competition. After he had become world renowned. After he stood up to the government and won. After he became a beloved figure, he said, I had the world in the palm of my hand, and it was nothing. He said, I had all of that in my camp, and it wasn't about nothing. I want you to know that you plus God is the majority. You plus God is all you will ever need in life. I want you to know that there are a lot of days that will pick you up and drop you off. I'm amazed that it wasn't a they begging for money. And a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple. That is called the beautiful gate to ask alms of those entering the temple. Well, how much did they give him? See, the other thing I want you to know about they, they will always take a withdrawal. They don't make too many deposits. They make withdrawals. 
put $100 in, they get $200 out. They. I want you to think about the they in your life who take from you. They will appear to be helping. Because you know they just help for a little while. Because they are making a small deposit so they can later take out an even bigger withdrawal. So you got two people. One person has $5. The other person has $5 million. And they say, hey, let's get a joint bank account. I'm going to put all I own in the bank account. And you put all you own in the bank account. So you put in $5, I put in $5 million. But it's both of our accounts, and we have joint equal access. Does that sound fair? No, but this is what they do. They say, I'm giving you all that I have. And they'll say, you know, if I had it, I'd get now. Nah, I don't know because you ain't got it. <laughs> I never seen you do it. I, I, how I know that? You know, if I had a car, I'd pick you up. Now, nah, I don't know that. <laughs> you, you know if I had the money I get how do I know that if you had the money you would give it to me see they you got to be careful of they whoever they may be in your life they will eat from you and take from you they will be whole and you will be left at the gate all by yourself asking for arms from another but I know someone who will make a deposit in your life I know someone who will take nothing from you but give you all you could ever want and that is Christ Jesus says it in John chapter 10 verse 10 Julia he says I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I want you to know that that abundant life, you don't come to Jesus with the abundant life. You come to Jesus and you receive the abundant life. I, I, I want you to know that life with God is a great thing. I want you to understand that in this season of giving and in this season of getting, I want you to make sure you get Jesus. So, and a lame man from birth was being carried when they laid at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate to ask alms of those entering the temple. Let me go a little bit further. 